everyone, it's Miss Nikki. Today I'm going to read you a book titled The Girl Who Thought in Pictures. It is a picture book biography written in rhyming words and it introduces us to a real life scientist by the name of Dr. Temple Grandin. This book is written by Julia Finley Mosca and illustrated by Daniel Riley. If you've ever felt different, if you've ever been low, if you don't quite fit in, there's a name you should know. Temple Grandin's, that name in her tale, you'll find glory. So get ready, get set for this cowgirl's true story. In the city of Boston, one hot summer day, a sweet baby was born. It was Temple, hooray! Unique from the start, an unusual girl. She loved spinning in circles and watching things twirl. But some things she hated, like certain loud sounds or bright crowded places large cities and towns. Frilly dresses with tags made her itch, pull and tug. Something else that she hated, a big squeezy hug. A shy loner, this temple, but when she got mad, when her feelings of stress and frustrations got bad, quite a tantrum she'd throw. Kick, holler, bang, shriek. Yet, still by age three, not one word did she speak. She'll never be normal, was what some did say. Her brain's not quite right. You must send her away. Away? Not my temple, her mother proclaimed. We'll figure this out. You should all be ashamed. Then little by little, though sometimes she balked, special teachers helped temple and one day she talked. And that thing with her brain, it was autism, see? She was different, not less. They all finally agreed. Like most kids her age, she loved ice cream and art. But the way Temple thought, that's what set her apart. If something was mentioned, for instance, a fly, in her mind, she'd see dozens of photos buzz by. When the time came for school, let's just say that was hard. Kids taunted and chased her all over the yard. They picked on poor Temple. How crazy it drove her. They teased her for saying things over and over and over and over and over. Until Finally, she snapped. Yes, she did. Lost her cool. Threw a book at a kid and was kicked out of school. No one really got Temple. But well, then again, the truth of it was Temple didn't get them. You need time away, said her mom. That's what's best. You'll go visit your aunt on a ranch way out west. And guess what? Fitting in on a farm was less stress. Since the pigs didn't care if her hair was a mess. Quite a sweet spot she had for the cows in their herds. Such big gentle beasts who knew nothing of words. 
As she watched her new friends, a thought popped in her head. These cows think like me in pitches instead. At a new school that fall, Temple found more support. And a teacher who taught her, you'll never fall short. When you find what you're good at, like science, you'll soar. And that teacher was right. He had opened a door. So she built a machine like she'd seen on some farms, an invention that hugged her with boards and not arms. It worked. She had done it. From memory, it's true. And just like the cows, it made Temple calm too. I'm special, she thought, like a bright shooting star. My attention to details could help me go far. Through her studies, she learned there were farms not so kind. I will help them, she said. Some solutions she'd find. And then something cool. Can you guess? Could it be? Off to college she went, a degree. She earned three. And though ladies weren't experts on farms at that time, do you think that stopped Temple? No way! She did fine. She stepped through that door and went forward, no tears. She took on the world, but at times, she had fears because some things were scary, like people she'd meet who'd ignore her ideas and, well, wouldn't be sweet. But she never gave up, learned her stuff through and through, like why cattle will circle and what makes them move. To build better farms was her goal. She would do it. Be kind to our creatures. They have feelings. She knew it. And slowly but surely, she changed many minds until farm after farm built her awesome designs. Word spread about Temple, her feet's not so small. Temple Crandon? She's grand. She's the grandest of all. Now, for these things and more, she won honors and prizes, and a movie was made. But the biggest surprise is, that girl with the future that couldn't be bleaker? Yes, the once silent girl. She's now a big speaker. Today, she spreads hope with her stories and speeches. From New York to Sydney to Rome, Temple teaches. Each person is special, so unique are our minds. This world needs your ideas. It takes brains of all kinds. So here is the lesson. Feeling odd or offbeat? Being different might just be what makes you so neat. Don't let doubt hold you back, not for one minute more. Stand tall and like temple, march right through that door. The end. And now for a special message from Dr. Temple Grandin. She says, Dear reader, as a child, I was really glad that my mother always encouraged my ability in art. I encourage you to find something you are good at and work on developing it. 
If you are interested in becoming a scientist like me, find cool new ways to look at things such as microscopes and telescopes. Explore nature. Think up your own hands-on science experiments. Keep learning, especially from your mistakes. I hope you enjoyed the book and I hope that you continue to learn about this amazing scientist and all the work that Dr. Temple Grandin has done.